So in this week's YouTube video, I want to bring you episode number one of AI and Power BI, artificial intelligence. Power BI is always adding more artificial intelligence into the program. And so I wanna start showcasing a few of these features to you over the next few months. So the first one I wanna go into is add column from examples. So let's take a look. I'm gonna come over here, go into my Power Query editor, and show you how we can do add column from examples to make our life just a little bit easier. Now we know, we know we could go to add columns and we have all of these custom columns, conditional columns, etc. But sometimes I like to be efficient and rather than writing a formula, I want Power BI to figure it out on its own. So let me give you an example of that. So I'm gonna go over here to my airport query. And so on this airport query table here, I have the city state and I have, I'm sorry, I have the city and I have the state, but maybe I need the city and the state in order for my mapping visuals to work appropriately. So what I'm going to do, rather than doing a custom column and putting in my own formula, I'm going to go to column from examples. This is a really cool feature. So when I click on column from examples, what I now do is with row one selected, I'm going to double click in column one and start to type in what I want to see. Now I can click on these individual values that AI is already figuring out for me that's in row one. And if you notice, they've already given me the length of the different uh, fields themselves. They got a lot of capabilities here, but I'm just gonna give it an example. Let's see if it figures it out. So for our first one, this is 47 dash mile mine for the city and then airport state of Alaska. So I'm going to type this in 47 dash mile mine comma space a K. And then all I got to do is hit enter and did it work? So is the next one a Corona SP? It is. Is the next one Aiken or Achen uh, GE? Yes, it figured it out all on its own with only one example. Now, is that always going to happen? No. Sometimes you're gonna to have to provide more examples in order for it to do its job. And I'm gonna showcase that one for you next. But once you like what you've got, you simply hit okay and you're good to go. But what if, what if I, for some reason, wanted to see all of my city names in all caps? Well, let's see if it could have figured that out as well. So 47 dash mile mine comma AK enter. Oh, look at that. It figured out to keep them in all capitalized letters and it's doing this all for me. Now, here's another beautiful thing about this. So I'm going to hit OK. And once I hit OK here, it put it in. I could give this column a new name if I wanted to. But if I come on over and I go to the view ribbon and I turn my formula bar on, this is how I can get familiar with the M language. This is what was done in the background. So it did a table dot add columns, referencing my steps from the previous, or referencing my data from the previous step. It did a merged, and then it combined my text together, and it figured out to do the upper casing on the text values from my airport city column. So this is a great way to start to kind of get familiar with the M language. Do we need to know it for this example? Of course not, but we could go and take a look at it. So let's do a few more of these. Let's see what else we can get done here. So I'm gonna come over to my date table. Now, when we have date tables, uh, if you don't have a, a beautiful date table that's been curated for you by your organization, oftentimes you're gonna want to you know, make some modifications or even if it has been curated, there's still another column that you want that just doesn't show within the date table. So let's go take a look over on the right here. I've got some display dates. These were the dates themselves. And I don't have a column that has this written out textually for me. So let's get it done. I'm gonna come up to add column, gonna hit column from examples and scroll on over. And I want for this first one to put in January 1st, 1900. So I'm gonna double click on in here, type this in January 1st, 1900. And I'll hit enter. And did it work? Ah, not quite this time. This time it didn't get it right after that first example. So got to give it a little bit more information. So I'm going to come down to the second row, double click in here, and I'm going to go with, this should be January 1st for 2008. 
I'll hit enter. Mm, still not quite. Let's give it a third example. So we're going to double click. This should be January 2nd. Let me spell this correctly for 2008. Hit enter. Ah, after three examples, it is figuring it out picture perfect. So one of the default behaviors of when we do column from examples, if we just hit the icon itself, it's going to look at all of my columns within this table. Now, if you have a table that has lots of columns and some of those columns are fairly similar in nature where some of the values might get repeated, we want to make this easier for the AI capability. So if we hit the drop down on column from examples and we go from selection, this is where we can put check marks next to the columns that we know we are going to be referencing for part of this example. This will help the AI capabilities to focus their attention, not on the entire data set, but only on those ones that we were really thinking about. So for example, what I could do here, I'm going to make another new column. So I'm going to get rid of, I don't want to look at this column. I want to look specifically at that display date column again. And let's say that I wanted the one digit month, the, or just the, the month digit, two digit day in the four digit year. That's how I want things to be displayed. So I'm gonna double click in here. So I'm gonna put for this first row, this would be 1-01-1900. That is the format that I want. And we know we have DAX formulas that can do formatting for us, but anytime we can get something done in the Power Query Editor, that's normally best practice to help with the, uh, the indexing and the compression of our data sets and our refreshes and performance of our reports. That's why I want to do it here, not using a DAX formula. So I'm going to hit enter. Didn't figure it out. No worries. Let me type in another one. So we're going to double click in here. We're going to go 1-01-2008. Hit enter. Oh, yeah. We are in uh, not quite business. It's, it's kind of getting it, but not quite there. We're put, they're putting some slashes in here. I'm still not getting that two-digit day. So let me give it one more example. 1-02-2008. We'll hit enter and picture perfect. It is coming up with exactly what we want. Now I will let you know sometimes, depending upon the columns that you have and that you're looking at, sometimes I have seen it when it gets to the digits that have two in them already, it will put a zero right here in front. Well, what do you do when that happens? All you simply have to do is go to that value in question that you're not quite liking, modify that one, get rid of the zero that's in front, and normally it will pick that up and do it for all of the columns down under. But because I had it only looking at my one display date, that error did not occur here. But just letting you know, it is AI, which means it is not flawless. It's artificial intelligence. So that is something we could do down the, the downstream, so to speak, and give it another example. It doesn't just have to go in that perfect sequential order uh, that we've seen here. So we've done three columns from examples. Things are looking pretty good. What else can we do with this AI capability? So I'm just going to hit OK here, get rid of that. Let's go take a look at one of these other tables here. So let me come on down. Let's go to um, our, let's go to our departure block. So here, sometimes we want to split out columns. They put in multiple values, but we really want them into separate columns themselves. So let's say that the goal, the goal here is to only return in a column the first four numbers. You all know if you've been using Power BI, we could do a split column by delimiter and use our delimiter as that dash. However, if we don't know that, why not take advantage of add column from examples? So I'm gonna do column from examples, Bring it on over, we're gonna put it in. So for column one, this is unknown. Hmm, that might give me some issues here. So let me start on the second example. And I'm gonna put 0001 and then hit enter. Oh, <laughs> look what it did. It knew to do a text before delimiter function. So it's only returning the four numbers or anything that is before that dash icon. And it, it disregarded the unknown because it didn't have that same kind of property. So we could filter out if we didn't need that unknown, or if we still needed that unknown, it didn't affect the text before delimiter. 
So this is giving us a lot of extra capabilities that we don't have to go in and write our own formulas. All right, one last one I wanna show you. Can it do math? Oh, you bet it can do math. So let me just come over. I'm gonna pick some random table in here. What do we got? Cancellation reason, delay length. Okay, again, for this data set, I would have no, no bearing, no necessity to add these two numbers together. But what if your data set did have you wanting to add two numbers together to put into a new column? Could we write the formula? You know we could. Could we use column from examples? I don't know. Let's see if we can. So I'm going to hit column from examples here. For this first one, mm, got that null in there. Let's just go down to the second column from examples. So we've got 1 plus negative 2. That would give me a negative 1. I'm going to hit enter. All right. 2 plus negative 1, mm, that should be a 1. So let me give it another example here. I'll hit 1. All right. Oh, oh yeah, we are in business. It figured out that I wanted to add these two numbers together. I did the calculations in my head, <laughs> easy calculations, right? But I've seen this work with division, multiplication. So add column from examples, super beneficial. Tap into those AI capabilities. I'm going to be bringing you more AI capabilities in the future. Subscribe, like our channel, stay up to date on all the videos that we are sending you because we like to pump them out and empower you with all of your Power BI, Azure, Power Apps, Power Automate knowledge, and continue your learning process. I'll see you in the next video.